Hey, Ray. celebration. Yeah. Good evening. Hope everyone's How doing well. How are you doing? Good to see each and every one of you tonight. Welcome to the house of the Lord. So glad to be together with you yeah, this same Wednesday man. night. I hope you, we hope that you've had an awesome week. Amen. The Lord's been good to you. We know that he has. What an awesome and mighty God we do serve. Y'all just sign on and Amen. let us know that you're with us tonight. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yay, we're coming through good. <laughs> Very good. Praise the Lord. Very good. We're here and we're coming through good. So that's good. good to see Praise the Lord. Tonight. We're just so happy uh, to be together just for this time that the Lord's going to do some beautiful things in our midst. Hey, Calissa. Hey, Calissa. How you doing? So good to see you, girl. Good to see Amen. you. Amen. We're just Christina, believing the Lord. Larry, good to see you, Chris. Hi, y'all. <laughs> it's good to see everyone tonight. Amen. Hope y'all have had a blessed day. It's so been an good awesome to see day, the celebration family. We do some hug and greet yes, time. Yes, we do. Amen. <laughs> Send some hearts to y'all. We, we love and appreciate you all and just have uh, been keeping you in our prayers and uh, know that the Lord is using you all in a great way and just blessing you for his glory, using you for his glory. That's right. Amen. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amen. Uh, Ma Peggy, she sends her love to everybody. Yes. And uh, we talked with her yesterday yes. and got to see her and she just sends her love. Amen. So. <laughs> it's very good to see her. Amen. We so, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, either you're seeing us live or you're uh, seeing this at a later time. E whichever way, we just welcome you to Celebration Family Worship Center this evening. We're yes. still meeting online, and, and thank you for joining with us. And like we said earlier, we just believe in the Lord to do some special, special things here tonight. Yes, we are. Uh, so happy that my honey, this is Pastor Rocky. And this is Pastor Vanjie. We are the pastors of Celebration Family Worship Center here in Morganton, North Carolina. Yes. And just have such a blessed congregation. We just love these sweet people and they are a blessing to our lives. And if you get the opportunity to see videos that uh, we have on our Facebook page, uh, our Celebration Facebook page. You will be so blessed by the many of them that are sharing oh, yes. uh, ministry and classes through uh, our Facebook. Mm -hmm. And um, please take advantage of those throughout the week. We just so appreciate also our intercessors. Yes. We saw the power of prayer come through on Sunday Ooh, morning in such a special way. As you know, when we first went to get online, we were presented with a message that said, uh, your browser no longer supports <laughs> That's right. it doesn't support Facebook your camera. and said we needed to update immediately. Well, <laughs> that's uh, kind of unnerving to get a message like that. But I shared it quickly with Cindy, who I guess shared it with the inter intercessors because I started even seeing text messages that y'all were praying. And truly, <clears throat> now my husband and I can share this before the Lord, that under normal circumstances, that probably would have taken us an afternoon. Yes. We would have gotten it accomplished, <laughs> but it would have been a slow process and would have probably taken us an entire afternoon to do. But in 30 minutes, it was done. And we just rejoiced after church and said, you know what? God heard the prayers of the he intercessors. Did, absolutely. And, you know, because you're having to come up with passwords, then you've got to more passwords, yes. and, and then they're sending you passwords on your phone. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And he did it. He yes, enabled he us. My did. husband was just praying even before we came on and said, God, you enable us to do the good works that you prepared yes, for us to do in advance. And we just thank him and we thank our intercessors Amen. for praying. We thank y'all for the way that you are covenant people. Amen. We are all covenant people we and are. at celebration, we serve the Lord uh, in our giving through tithes and offerings. And we've continued doing that throughout all of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Yes. We've just been giving online. We have an Easy Tithe website uh, or app on our Facebook page that yes. you're able to go and give that way. Also, for those who prefer to mail it in, you can, mail it you can in. just mail it, uh, your tithe and offering in to Celebration Family Worship. Center at C uh, uh, at twenty fifty eight PO box 
2058 Morganton, North Carolina, North Carolina 28680. We also appreciate those on the worship teams that have been able to send yes. in music. And we want to start our service off tonight with the blowing of the shofar. Amen. Amen. So, uh, Ashley was telling us last week they were listening to the service and Christian was doing something right when it started. So he heard the shofar and he didn't know what on earth was going on. He's like, <laughs> whoa, what's happening? And she said, well, they're blowing the shofar. <laughs> so that's what you're fixing to hear. <laughs> Hallelujah, Lord! Yes! Amen! Glory and honor be unto you, Lord! You're worthy! Hallelujah! Yeah! Yes! Amen! Amen! Amen. Thank you, Lord! Oh, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we come before you. We thank you that, Father God, you're here with us. Yes. You're leading yes, and guiding God. and directing by your sweet Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that thank you inhabit you, the praises of your people. Thank we you, thank Jesus. you that you're lifted up, exalted, and glorified. Thank you, Lord. And Father, we thank you that the name of Jesus will be lifted up over all the earth. Amen. You said that the glory of the Lord will cover the earth Hallelujah. just as the waters cover, cover the, the sea. sea. So, Lord, in our time together this night, in each and every one of our days, may you be lifted up, exalted, and glorified. Amen. And may your name greatly be praised. Sweet Holy Spirit, move by the power of the Holy Spirit, Hallelujah. by the gifts of the Spirit yes. in this yes. service. We pray. Bodies will be healed. Yes. Yokes will be yes. lifted. Burdens will be removed. And we thank you, Jesus. Captive set free. Yes. And we'll give you all the glory, all the honor, and, and all, all the, praise. the praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 And amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat>
Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Donya. Hey, Della. Hey, Tammy and Lonnie. Sherry, Kira, Alan and Laura. Good to see y'all. Hey, Jean. <laughs> The silence, the sounds plays the giants, the voice that breaks down every prison door. And we lift up our voices, praises go before us. We know the battle is the Lord. I'm gonna sing like the battle is over. I'm going to dance like the war is won. Every prison door swing open wide. The king is overcome. I'm going to sing like the battle is over. I'm going to dance like the war is won. Every prison door swing open wide. The king is overcome. He's overcome. Oh, hallelujah. How he wrote my story The moment that I crossed from death to life So if the battle rages Safe here in his presence I know he's ever lost a fight I'm gonna sing like the battle is over the war is won. Every prison door swing open wide. The king is overcome. I'm gonna sing like the battle is over. And I'm gonna dance like the war is won. Every prison door swing open wide. The king is overcome. The king is overcome. Hallelujah. You
circumstances. Amen. Not things that rule over our circumstances because the Lord rules over our circumstances. Yes, that's right. So we speak to circumstances and Amen. they've got to come under the subjection of his word. Yes, they do. Hallelujah. hallelujah. So hallelujah. As a body <laughs> of believers today, yes. we're declaring that the Lord, promises of God, of God yes, they Lord. exceed yes. anything. That we're going yes, through. Yes, amen. amen. Hallelujah. He has already won yes, the victory. Yes, he has. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Thank you, God. Hey, Donna. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Monica. Hey, Monica. Derek. Derek. See a victory for the battle 
belongs to you, Lord. I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Oh, the battle belongs to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, it's your battle and you won. Oh, victory. so true, so true. Oh, you take the enemy, enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. You take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good. Lord, you turn it for good. You take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. You take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. What the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good, Lord. You turn it for good. You take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good, Lord. You turn it for good. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs. Lord, I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. You take what the enemy meant for evil and you turn it for good, Lord. You turn it for good. The enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good, Lord. You turn it for good. Oh, you turn it for good, Lord. Turn it for good. You turn it for good, Almighty God. Holy is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn it for good, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You see where he is we at know, and Lord. what he's facing there yes. in his job, Lord God, and you are greater. We're asking you to turn everything, Lord God, anything that's been I thank you for your protection over Chuck in the yes. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for covering him. Yes. Thank you, Lord God, for ministering to all that are involved in the name of Jesus. We give you glory and honor for this. Even recently, we heard of those here at uh, Case Farms, Lord yes. God, that have been sick. And Father God, we plead the blood of Jesus over them. We plead the blood of Jesus over them. And we ask that you to turn things around to bring healing in the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name of, Jesus. of Jesus, to do what only you can do, Father. Yes. In the yes. name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Thank you, Hallelujah. God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We lift up our friend Mike to you, thank Lord. Thank you, God. We, we declare wholeness those. to his body. Yes, we're praying we for those you from the crown of his head Lord, God. We to the thank soles you for of his feet. healing power by Jesus flowing through Christ. bodies he right now is made in whole. the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord Jesus. You are being exalted, lifted Hallelujah. up, and glorified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your protection over all of our doctors, yes. our nurses, yes. our essential workers. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Right here, Lord God, those from our celebration yes. family, Hold and just cup, right cup, here cup, in cup, our cup, town, cup. Lord God. Yes, Lord. Father God, our yes. prayers first go to them, yes. Lord Jesus. We're lifting up them, and we're thanking you for the blood of Jesus, yes. covering and protecting them. Yes, Lord. In the name of, in the name Jesus. of Jesus. They're blessed when they go in. And blessed They're blessed when they come when they come out oh, in the name of Jesus when they and rise they take up, the down. blessing of the Lord yes. with them yes. into hospitals yes. wherever they're working into yes, the essential Lord. places on their job yes, Jesus. flow through them Shalabana use them mightily for your glory and for your honor yes and we come into agreement with our brothers and sisters right now, Lord. Yes. And Father, we stand in the gap for this community. Yes, we do. We speak right now. Coronavirus 19. Start going down in the name of Jesus. Your numbers will not rise any further. The blood of Jesus is over this community. Their bodies to be healed now. Has known the moving and the power of the presence of the Lord. And we declare the enemy must be gone. In the name of Jesus. Wholeness. To leave our nation. To leave our nation in the name of Jesus. And this gospel shall be preached over all the earth. Yes. And then the end will come. Hallelujah. And Lord Jesus be lifted up. Yes. Exalted and glorified in this service tonight. And we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mighty, mighty name. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Tonight I want to just share on something that has affected all of us in one way or the other throughout these weeks of the stay-at-home order, and that's the word change. Yes. I don't care who you are. <laughs> Come on. We have all experienced some change. Yes. <laughs> and if you have, go ahead and say amen, amen because you know it's the truth. Eventually, when we're all back together in the physical, <laughs> in, the, in the building, We'll be able to discuss, and we may get a few chuckles yes. out of some of the changes that we've implemented. Yes. Just coming through this, things we've had to adapt in the ways that Amen. we do things. But that's just uh, the way it is. It's Change is, is real. It's a very real and it's a very mm -hmm. definite part of life. And this particular change has been brought on us rather suddenly, but it didn't catch God by Not surprise. At all. Not at all. And uh, recently, as my husband was sharing, in fact, just yesterday, we got to experience another change that has happened through uh, the coronavirus pandemic. And that is when we did go to visit, he shared that we went to go visit Peggy. Yes. And we did. But our visit was outside. We stood at her window. Yep. And we looked in. <laughs> and we had and there time. she was. And she saw us and started waving. And then the nurse was able to bring her over. And within a few minutes, Belinda got there. So it was really beautiful. We, we all were time. able to visit Peggy yes. right there at her window. Mm -hmm. But that was a change. Yes, it I was. I can tell you I've never had to visit anybody in the hospital or anybody in a nursing home that way before. It was a change. And it's a proven fact uh, from a myriad of studies that change can bring about some of the most stressful emotions that people will ever experience in their yep. lives. <laughs> It it's actually been cited that it can make you feel lost, it can make you feel abandoned, and it can almost feel like you've been tossed in the middle of the ocean in a storm, and you're just trying to <laughs> grab a hold of anything that's strong and stable. Yes. Well, today, for those of us who are serving the Lord, we thank God that we know the one that we can run and grab who is strong and stable, Amen. who is our rock it and our firm change. foundation. Amen. Amen. Because there's some aspects of change that simply put, they're no fun at all. No fun. <laughs> <laughs> they're just not fun. <laughs> when 
when I look at uh, all the change that's occurring constantly, whether we acknowledge it or not, we, we have to recognize that there has definitely been change. And when I just look over my own life, I see so many changes that the Lord has brought me through. <coughs> I mean, my life just living in the several different countries that I lived in, I had to attend many different schools, mm -hmm. many different churches, and there was a lot of change. change. <laughs> but thank the Lord, He was there through with it through for through all of it, just yep. as He's been with you. And if we started sharing testimonies tonight, you would be able to share, yes, God has been there with me through all the changes. But tonight I want to look at a lady whose encounter with change, it brought an enormous uh, healing to her life, a change of healing for yes. her. And she's written about, written about in the book of Mark, verse uh, chapter 5, <laughs> mm -hmm. verse 24. So if you'll go to Mark chapter 5, verse 24, we're going to pick up. And this lady's name is not given, but her faith is recorded yes, is. and is renowned. And it says, A large crowd followed and pressed around him. That was Jesus. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all that she had. But instead of growing better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd, touched his cloak because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, mm -hmm. I will be healed. Her... When she did that, her bleeding stopped. She felt mm. if she would do that, that her bleeding would stop and that she would be freed from suffering. And so that's exactly what she did. But when it happened, it says at once, Jesus realized that power had gone out from him. He turned around in the crowd and asked, Who touched my clothes? You see the people, and here's his disciples. Imagine them. They're in this thick throng of people and thick crowd. And they said, oh, Lord, how can you ask that? How can you ask who touched you? And Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. And then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, she came and she fell at his Amen. feet. And trembling with fear, she told him the whole story. She told him the whole truth. And yes. he said to her, Daughter, you are healed. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Like I said, over these last six, seven weeks, maybe a little longer for some, we've all experienced a lot of mm -hmm. change. But when I look at this lady and I hear that her suffering what she went through was day in and day out for 12 years. And it puts change in a whole different perspective. You know, there's a saying, I believe my mom even used to share it with me. Like if you ever start feeling like your circumstances are just the worst circumstances there are. Um, there's always somebody else yes. that you don't even know who probably has things, are going through even tougher times than you are. That's right. So it's time to say, well, you know what, God? Even though this is going on, I thank you that you're helping me through what I'm going through. Amen? Amen. And so as believers, it gives us pause and cause mm -hmm. to keep up our prayers for the many that are in need today. Yes. There are many in our community I, honestly, if you get on Google, you, they will they will give you a supply of prayer requests. Oh, absolutely. They will give you a supply of things to pray about. Amen. If you turn on the news, there again, you will receive many, many needs to yes. pray about because there's a lot going on. But when I look at this lady who's healed of the issue of blood that she had had for 12 years, it gives me a lot of compassion for those who've been long-suffering. Mm -hmm. And long-suffering is exactly what the word means. 
it means they've been suffering for a long time. Yes. And in this story and in the previous verses before we got to her story, the verses just before we get to this lady. So he's Jesus is in that crowd of people. He's, you know, making his way. <coughs> he gets approached by someone who has and asks him, "Hey, can you please go to the home of Jairus because his daughter who is 12 years old so here, this lady who's been suffering for 12 years, then he gets a request to go to the home of a little girl who's 12 years old, mm -hmm. said that she is very sick and she needs your prayers. Jesus was moved with compassion yes. for the sick. He always has been. He always, always will, will be. be. He is always moved with compassion. I want you to always know that. So here in the middle of this big crowd, these two different circumstances, but both with 12 years in them, the lady having suffered for 12 years, and <coughs> the child that he's going to her home, she being 12 years old, that is happening. And studies show something so beautiful, because do we think that even that is a coincidence? No. In the Word of God, He has a way of wrapping a story inside of a story. Because the story of the little girl, it begins in the verses right before we get to this lady. And then in the verses right after this lady, the story of the little girl concludes. And there's something beautiful about the intertwining of these two miracles that happened right there together. Mm -hmm. And it actually includes something I shared on, I believe it was last Wednesday night, whenever I was sharing about how the Lord came to seek and to save all that were lost, how He came for Jews and Gentiles. Yes. And in this very story, this very chapter, we see Jesus healing this Gentile lady. Mm -hmm. She is the one who suffered for 12 years. She's a Gentile lady. While he's on his way to the home of Jairus to raise her up from the dead. Yes. In the, in the meantime, it said, you know, that she had died by the time he gets to her house. And she is a Jewish girl. And the him raising her back to life actually represents him raising Israel back to life. So mm -hmm. right there, woven together, God, way before, uh, way before uh, our story of Peter, Peter and Cornelius, Jesus pulled Peter, James, and John aside to go with him from that crowd of disciples. Right. He took them with him to the home of Jairus where they prayed, got in there, and the young girl was raised from the dead. Yes. Matter of fact, Jesus said, well, she's not even dead. She's just asleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was specific, and I noted that Peter was there. And so God was already, whether Peter realized it or not, God was putting some groundwork in him yes. where he was saying, hey, Peter, I just healed a Gentile woman, and you were very aware she was a Gentile. And you see, we're here right now, and Amen. this little girl has been raised from the dead. She has been healed and resurrected. And so even there, woven in that story, that very lesson that we saw in Peter's life last week and Cornelius, that God said, I have come to seek and to save all yes, who amen. are lost. Jew and <clears throat> Gentile. And that principle applies to healing today. There is no one, I don't care who's watching tonight, there are none of you off limits from the power of God That's and right. the healing power of God that He wants to demonstrate in your lives. He doesn't he has no favorites. We're all his favorites. That's right. Let's Amen. put it that way. That's right. <laughs> the Lord Jesus in the span of a day, actually just a few hours, these miracles happening back to back, he demonstrated that. This lady who had suffered greatly for 12 years, she had spent every dime she had. Yep. She had, and, and it said that she didn't get better. She actually got worse. And... So I'm sure she's like, well, what have I got to lose? 
She's been hearing about mm-hmm. Jesus. She's been hearing about how people are getting healed. I believe she leaned on the positive side of that question. I believe that she was going to Jesus. She wasn't saying, what do I have to lose? I believe she was saying, what do I have to gain? I believe after suffering for 12 years and hearing of how Jesus was healing and doing miracles, she went with great faith yes. that was leaning on the positive side of the question mm-hmm. saying, what do I have to gain? I actually have my healing to gain yes. if I will press in and use every ounce of my strength to get close mm-hmm. to the Lord. And I think that with us, sometimes we need to get motivated by the positive on, side of a on. question when we're coming to the Lord. I think sometimes we tend to maybe go to the negative side and say, well, what am I going to lose? Yes. God's saying, what are you going to gain if you get in my presence? What are you going to gain? He promises that he has come to give us life and to give it more abundantly. Yes. So when we're pressing in and getting closer to him, he always has good things that he wants to fill us Amen. with. Absolutely. And we've got to start walking in that greater determination yes. than ever. That, hey, Lord, I'm going to get closer to you. Come on. I'm going to draw closer in a greater determination to get the good things that you have for me. Yes, amen. Whatever it is that I'm needing that day. Today, I may have needed this word more than you do. (laughs) And the Lord said, I've got it for you. All it is is for us to get into his presence and he's ready to pour beautiful things into our life. If we can just be like that lady and say, if I can just get to the hem of his garment, if I can just reach out and touch it, I know that the Lord is going to touch me. And the Greek translation of that is so beautiful and powerful. It says that when she touched that hem of his Mm -hmm. garment, that Jesus literally a power kept going out of him that went out from him. It was a perpetual power. Yes. It was a power that was happening in him all the time. Yes. But because she reached out in faith and that faith touched the hem of that garment, he felt that when it mm-hmm. left. Though he was surrounded with many Hello. that I'm, I'm, I'm very sure were brushing up beside yeah. him. When she reached out and touched him, there was something more than just her fingers yes. that reached out and touched the hem yes. of that garment that night. There was a faith that says, what do I have to lose? That isn't what she was saying. Come she on. was saying, what do I have to gain if yes. I just touch the hem of the garment of the one that I've been hearing about Come who's on. been healing the blind, raising up the dead, Lame have been walking again. Dumb have been speaking the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. When we come into the presence of the Lord, Jesus, I want to get close enough to you to touch the hem of your garment. I want that power that's perpetually flowing through you to come and touch my life. Hallelujah. Because we're called to a work in these last days. Yes. Because he has us in crowds. Yes. We may be in crowds online. You say, well, what kind of crowds are we in? We're online. I don't know. But the Holy Ghost knows. Come on. It's his word that goes out. And his word that takes root. Come on. He will give you those that you are supposed to plant a Holy Ghost word in. Yes. And he has a harvest for that word. You don't have to worry about that part. We just have to be faithful to get in his presence, to reach out and touch the hem of his garment. Hallelujah. Amen. We see that same type of power flowing in Peter. Again, notice it was Peter. Over in Acts chapter 5 verse 15, it says, As a result, people brought the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and mats so that at least... Peter's shadow might fall on some of them as he passed by. Come on. We're talking about a perpetual power and an anointing of God Come on. flowing through 
vessels of God. Yes. That's what we're talking about. Yes, we are. We're talking about something he imparted to Peter because he drew Peter in. Come on. And even when Peter didn't even realize the Lord Jesus was teaching him a powerful lesson, he was. Yes. He was teaching him a lot. He was teaching him about mm. healing. He was teaching him, I don't I have any preferences. I've come for all my people. I've come to seek and to save all of them. And any that are sick and afflicted, I'm yes. here to heal them. Yes. And he was saying, Peter, these are things that you're going to do. And that power that flows from the, the presence of Jesus, yes. he desires for us for it to flow out of our lives because yes, he does. here in verse 30 in the middle of that whole miracle you know Jesus is turning around and he's saying who touched me who touched me and his disciples of course were baffled what a question to ask in the middle of a crowd but Jesus knew what had happened. Come on. He knew exactly what had happened. Yes, he did. He wasn't asking a question because he didn't know the answer. This is why he was asking the question. He wanted that lady to acknowledge what the Lord had done for her. Yes. Just like I shared last week or the week before out of Psalm 107 <coughs> verse 8. Oh, that man would give thanks. Mm. To the Lord yes. for His goodness yes. and His wonderful works to the children of men. He wanted to give her an opportunity mm. to testify. To sure. testify yeah, of cool the goodness part. of the Lord. Yes. And she did. She acknowledged what the Lord had done mm. for her. It's because guess what? There were those in that crowd who needed to hear her testimony. And there are people today who need to hear your testimony. That's a fact. Be a bold person. Come on. And proclaim what the Lord has done for you. Say, I'm going to be one of those who will give thanks to the Lord yes. for His goodness and for yes. all His wonderful works works unto the children of men. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, even tonight, as we are talking about the Lord healing and the lives that He wants to change, He wants us to put our focus on one thing that never changes. Because like I started this all off with, we've all been affected by change. Mm -hmm. But the Lord would say, tonight, I want to draw you in and I want you to focus on the one thing that never changes. That's right. And that is Him. In Malachi chapter 3 verse 6, For I the Lord do not, not change. change. Therefore you, O children of Jacob, are not consumed. And the Lord told me, He said, <coughs> Sometimes, he said, my people might actually be feeling like they're getting consumed by change. But he said, let me tell you something. Mm. Anytime you turn on the TV, they're telling you of some change. Like I said earlier, anytime you're going to Google, there's some change. And uh, I've just become convinced that the only change they ever hear about on media it appears that a lot of it is negative. So Thank as you. believers, uh, we got to go to where we get living word. Yes. And promises to feed on tonight. Yes. That's what we were singing about tonight. The promises of God mm -hmm. that are in his good book for us. He changes not. Come on. And there's a yes. diet that we're Shut supposed up. to be feeding on. And that ain't the diet on TV and on Google. Come on. The diet we're to be feeding on. Right the here, of God. the Word of God. Yes. The same God that we're talking about tonight who never changes. There's no transition, no inconsistency with Him. There's no change in Come our on. God. Yes. The same God that created this entire universe that we're living in right now, He's the very same God who met with same Moses yes. on Mount Sinai. Yes. He's the very same God who sent Jesus, well, His only begotten Son, to die on yes. that cross for us. Yes. To then be buried and in three days <laughs> raised to life for us. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the same yesterday, today, and, and forever. forever. His word never, never changes. Ever changes. Never. All that he said about himself remains true forever. And 
Everything that's wrong about the world, he's already shared with us. So if you need any of that kind of news, no need to refer to Google or uh, the TV. Just get in your Bible. And let me tell you, I was reading in Daniel today and I was like, my Lord, that's going on right now. <laughs> the news that we need, it's in full print every day. That's right. Right here, leading us and yes. guiding us. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. His word is is firmly fixed forever O Lord your word is firmly, firmly fixed, fixed in the heavens yes. that's Psalm 119 verse 89 and then again in Matthew verse uh, chapter 24 verse 25 heaven and earth will pass away come on but my word will not pass away and because his word never changes his promises for us remain true. Yes. His word says that, for I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, on, or death, on. or anything oh, else in all God, creation will be able to separate us from oh, the love on. of God, Christ Jesus our Lord. Yes. That's Romans 8, 38 and 39. Also, I am sure of this, that he who began a Come good on. work in you and a good work in yes. me and a good work in you, yes, and you. he will bring, it, He'll to bring it to completion at the day of Christ Come Jesus. On. Hallelujah. In Philippians 1 verse 6, he says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed. I am your God. I Come will on. strengthen you. Yes. I will help you. I will uphold you with, with my, my righteous, righteous right hand. Oh, That's yes. Isaiah 41 10. Mm. So, hallelujah, things may be changing. Mm. That you may, like we said, I believe in one of the very first sermons when we were talking about the Apostle Paul being out on yes. that ship going to Malta. And oh Lord, were they ever in a storm? Were the waves as high and as low as they could go? Yes, they were. It was a real, real storm. But the word of the Lord came and the yes. promise of God came to them. And he told them they would all make it and would come out unscathed. And the Lord wants to tell us tonight, I'm still your anchor. Yes. I've always been your anchor, whether the waters have been as smooth as silk or whether the waves are 10 feet high. His, my word is unchanging. My nature is unchanging. And just like that lady who reached out and she gave it her all to make sure she could touch the hem of his garment. Come on. The Lord God is still big enough and strong enough for us to put our <coughs> hopes in. For us to reach out and touch the hem of His garment with whatever need we may have tonight. That's right. For whoever it is that the Lord's asking you to pray for tonight. I want you to reach out and yes. touch the hem of His garment yes. tonight. And the Lord's going to touch you. Yes. He's going to touch your family. <coughs> He's going to touch those that... He's called you to reach out to. And hallelujah, his word says, God is our refuge and God is, is our strength. strength. He's a very and present help, help in trouble. Yes. Therefore, we will not fear. Though the earth gives way, though the mountains be removed into the heart Come of on. the sea, though the waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. That's Psalm 46, 1 through 3. Come on. Even through change, our God is steadfast. That's right. Amen. Because He never changes. He never changes. So some of the changes that we might feel, they might have like a little ripple effect, just like when you're throwing a stone on a smooth little lake. And then some changes you might feel, they may feel like they're huge. But the Lord wants us to know tonight, we need not... Fear. Don't fear. We need not hide. We need not despair. That's right. Because our rock is the anchor, the, anchor. the unchanging God. Yes. The God of Abraham, Abraham Isaac, Isaac, and, and Jacob. Jacob. The one who never changes. Never changes. The one who is there for oh, us forever and forever. And Father God, we say tonight. Yes. 
Increase our faith. Yes, Lord. Jesus, for the one who's needing to come and touch the hem of yes. your garment. Make the way for them to touch it. And yes. Father God, may they feel your power flowing That's in right. their body from the top of their head to, to the, the soles, soles of their, of their feet. feet. Whatever the situation is, if financially they're yes. needing a breakthrough from you tonight, you are yes. Jehovah Jireh. Yes, and I are. thank you, God, that you release and you meet mm -hmm. needs of your people, Lord God. Yes. Father, we've asked for favor on jobs. Yes, We've Lord. asked for you to make a way Lord, for the family of celebration. And we come to you tonight knowing your promises. They hold up sure. They hold up in all kinds of weather. There's no coronavirus that has you shaking. Nothing, Lord God, has got you worried. Father God, we put our trust in you. Yes. At all times. At all times, Lord. And we thank you, Jesus. We thank you. For the opportunity to proclaim, <inaudible> to proclaim <inaudible> your word <inaudible> tonight <inaudible> and always. Yes. In Jesus', In Jesus name. name. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Church, I want to encourage you. Yes. When you when you move into new levels, oh. you know what I'm saying you oh. gotta fight new devils. Preach it. Okay? <laughs> Let me tell yes. you what. Yes. I'm not shaken yes. that on Sunday and it, and apparently just little things I've seen yes. that there's been hesitation in the uh, internet in Facebook. Yeah. I, I'm not moved by that. Uh, right now we're looking at a black screen, <laughs> but I'm not moved by that. <laughs> Because I tell you what, Hallelujah. I know that God's word's going to go forth. I know yes. that God's going to do what he's desiring to do. Hallelujah. And I tell you, the Lord wants us yes. to be so prepared yes. because what he has for us to do, it's beyond anything we can imagine or think. Yes. In Nehemiah, go to Nehemiah Hallelujah. chapter 4. Thank you, Father. Nehemiah chapter 4. God's been just really ministering Hallelujah. to me out of Nehemiah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> And y'all know uh, there is a heritage Hallelujah. in Burke County of moving of God. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, but I also think that in Burke County, that sometimes we as believers we grow weary in our well doing. Help us, Lord. And I believe Help that us, there Lord. have been uh, some generations that have grown weary in their well doing, mm -hmm. and thus the enemy has gained ground. Okay? It's happened throughout history. He can't keep it. He can't keep it. He can't keep it. Because God always raises up Hallelujah. a righteous generation. Yes. And that's who you are, that celebration. That is who you are. We are you speaking are a to righteous you. celebration. Yes. You are a generation that God yes. has raised up. Yes. You are a righteous celebration. You have uncommon faith. That's right. You have it is for prepared such a you. time as this. It is for such Don't a time as this. Don't think it's strange. Mm -mm. Don't think it's strange these fiery schemes of the enemy. No. Don't think it's strange what the devil is trying to do. Oh my goodness. Uh -uh. Compass. Uh, they just. Let me tell you what. Mm -hmm. We got all the power Compass can pump Hallelujah. to our house. Hallelujah. We have changed our, our router. Our Wi-Fi, we've done all that stuff. Don't yeah, the spectrum, spectrum. <laughs> charter, charter. Don't think it's oh, strange the these schemes no. of the devil, Amen. because the devil doesn't like what's happening. No. He doesn't like that ministries in his scheme to bring everybody down. No. That ministries have been driven to the internet. That ministries are declaring the word of God Hallelujah. to the world. Amen. He hates it. Okay. But I want to tell you here in the book of Nehemiah, Nehemiah amen. the fourth chapter, because I believe that God is speaking something very specific Hallelujah. to us as celebration. But when Sanballat, he heard that we were building the wall, Nehemiah 4, he was angry oh. and in a great rage, and he ridiculed the Jews. Oh my goodness, wow. this is happening, this is uh -huh. happening. Guess what? It ain't nothing, to, pardon my English, it ain't <laughs> nothing 
but the devil trying to come against the body of Christ mm -hmm. and trying to make us feel like we are less than who we are oh. because greater is, is he, he that is, is in us Amen. than he that is Hallelujah. in the world. Yes. Sanballat San came against them and was ridiculing the Jews. Mm -hmm. And he said before his brethren and the army of Samaria, what are these feeble Jews doing? <laughs> what are these Christians think they're doing on the internet? What are these Christians think they're doing on Facebook Live? Oh, come on. Will they restore things at will and by themselves? No, we won't do it. But Almighty God, the creator of the universe, yes. he's going to restore all things yes. unto himself. Hallelujah. <coughs> Will they try to bribe their God with sacrifices? Oh, God. They, they're standing back and mocking, saying, oh, they're crying out and singing praises, oh. thinking they're going to move the hand of their God. No, we're not. We're giving praises to an almighty God Hallelujah. who forever reigns. Hallelujah. Whatever he wants to do, that's yes. what I want to be yes. done. Yes. I want his will to be done. Yes. His word to be done yes. right here on earth, just as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. Now, Tobiah and the Amorites, they were near him. And they said, what they build, if a fox climbs upon it, it will break down their stone wall. It's going <laughs> to break it down. Come on. And Nehemiah prayed. Oh, glory. If God's people, yes. if we'll stop complaining yes. about the way everything's going and get down and start praying. I Can I get it. an amen in the amen. house tonight? Amen. And Nehemiah prayed, Hear, O oh God, for we are despised. God knows we're despised. He said, They're going to hate you because they hated me first. Hmm. Hear, O oh God, our prayer, yeah. for we are despised. Turn their taunts upon their own heads mm. and give them for a prey into the land of their captivity. Yes, yes. Come on. Yes. We know what the Word of God says. God says that the schemes of the enemy, when they come against us, mm -hmm. that when we resist the enemy, yes. they have to flee yes. in seven directions. Seven ways. Yes, yes, yes. Nehemiah kept praying, Cover not their iniquity, and let not their sin be blotted out before you. For they have vexed with alarm the builders and the provoked you. God is fully aware. We know we live and we serve a merciful, gracious, heavenly Father. Yes. We serve a God who wants souls to come to his kingdom. Amen. We serve a God who is merciful. We cry out to God, God, open their eyes so they can see yes. who you are. Yes. Lord Jesus, Jesus on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Amen. Nehemiah was praying in a certain direction. And Jesus, he said, Father, Forgive them. Forgive them, Lord, because they don't know what they do. Mm -hmm. God has seen all of our crying. Yes. He has captured all of our tears. Yes. God yes. has heard our petitions. Yes. <clears throat> Nehemiah says, so we built the wall. Okay. So we built the wall. Let me tell you what. I believe that God is rebuilding Hallelujah. the walls Hallelujah. of his his kingdom people. Amen. You dwell in the walls of the city. Amen. You and I, does not the scripture say, know you not, know you not that you are the temple, temple. of the Holy Ghost? Amen. Amen. We live in this world, but we're not of this world. We are looking for a city whose builder and maker is Almighty God. Amen. And he says, so we built the wall and all of it was joined together to half its height. 
God is telling us he is working on us. Yes. Brothers and sisters, I'm just going to be honest yes. with you. Yes. I'm ready for God to do things. I know that God is doing things in his timing. Yes. But if we came back together today mm -hmm. and God hasn't done the work in us mm -hmm. and finished what he wants to do in us before we come back together, mm -hmm. then the building is, and I'm talking us, then we are in ruin. Mm -hmm. God is wanting to build us brick upon brick Amen. with Jesus, the chief cornerstone. Amen. He's wanting to put line upon line, precept upon precept. Yes. He's wanting to increase our faith. Yes. Come on. Yes. And we've got to start getting faith. And I'm getting ready to take you into something that's deep here. And he says, so the people for the people had heart and mind to work. They had Amen. heart and mind to work. God do what you want to do in me. Amen. I've got a heart that I want everything you want to do in me, God. I've got a mind for you to do whatever it is, Lord. Yes. I'm willing to be changed from faith to faith, grace to grace, glory to glory. I want to be made more and more in your image and your likeness, Lord. Do what, what you, you want to do in me. Amen. Amen. Do what you want to do in me, Lord. Yes. And it yes. says, But when Sanballat, Tobiah, and the Arabians, the Amorites, and the Ashadites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were going up and that the breaches were being closed, they became very angry. Hmm. Not just angry, very angry. And it hmm. says, And they all plotted to come and fight against Jerusalem to injure and cause confusion and failure in it. We, the body of Christ, yes, we've endured, we've come through something. But I want to tell you what, mm -hmm. the devil isn't done. Mm -hmm. He won't be done until Jesus has him bound, Amen. thrown into the lake, Come on, into yeah. the bottomless pit yes. for a thousand years. Yes. And then after a thousand years, he's still going to stir up his trouble. So the scheme of the enemy is to try and stop what Jesus wants to do. Amen. And we must be wise to the schemes of the Hallelujah. enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we can't be wise to the schemes of the enemy that he's trying to bring against our own lives, mm -hmm. against our families, mm -hmm. how can we be wise to the schemes of the enemy that he's trying to bring against our community, Amen. that he's trying to bring against our state, Amen. that he's trying to bring against this nation? How can we be wise if we're not first willing to look at ourselves? Amen. But mama, she said, if you point a finger, always remember you got three pointing Amen. back at you. Yes. So we've got to make sure yes. that God does what he wants to do in us. Amen. He comes further. But because of them we made our prayer to our God and set a watch against them day and night. Amen. We have got to stand watch. Hallelujah. We've got to stand yes. watch. We have got to be so in tune with the Holy amen, Ghost amen, that whether amen. it's in the morning hour, in Hallelujah. the early morning, whether it's in the night hour, yes. whatever time it may be that yes. God stirs us, we go into prayer, we stand in the gap. Well, come on, you who are baptized in the Holy Hallelujah. Ghost, we fight in the Spirit. Yes. We wage war against the enemy, amen. letting the Lord do what he's wanting to do. Yes. And yes. it says that God and set watch against them day and night. And the leaders of Judah said, the strength of the burden bearers is weakening. Mm. We can not become weak in our Amen. well doing. Amen. Those in other words, the leaders were saying, those who are doing all the burden bearing are becoming weak. We cannot become weak. Hallelujah. My wife talked about 
Moses' hands being lifted yes. on Sunday. We got to keep standing in the gap, lifting the hands. Let me tell you what. There's a reason that every person who's president of the United States, yeah. man, they've aged when they come out of office <laughs> yeah. because the burden is so great. We've got to stand in the gap, quit complaining, and start standing in the yes. gap. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And our enemies said, wait a minute. The strength of the burden bearers is weakening and there is much rubbish and we are able to work on the wall. God is ready to rebuild the walls Glory. of Morgan to North Carolina. Glory. God is looking Glory. for people that will stand in the gap and say, God, I, re I don't remember the former glory of what you did in this town, but God, I'm looking forward to what you're wanting to do Hallelujah. right now. Because you said the latter will be greater than the past. Hallelujah. So move by your spirit, almighty God. Hallelujah. And our enemy said, they will not know or see till we come into their midst and kill them and stop the work. The enemy wants to stop God's work in birth county and we cannot get off the wall no we gotta stand in the gap we gotta fight the good fight of yes. faith i don't care whether it's on the internet i don't care yeah. whether it's in a parking lot yeah. i don't care whether it's in a building we've got to fight the good fight of faith hallelujah. and not give up hallelujah. do you hear me tonight yes, yes. hallelujah yes and when the jews who lived near them came they said to us ten times you must return to guard our little villages for all places where they dwell. They will be upon us. Let me tell you what. The enemy is out to try and get the, the moving of God to stop. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you, we, we must do just as Nehemiah, Amen. as he spoke in 13. He said, so I set armed men. Who out there is armed and ready for battle? Hallelujah. Who out there has put on the whole armor of God Hallelujah. today? Who out there standing firm in the power of his might? Yes. I want to tell you what. God, he said, I will set the armed men and women behind the wall yes. in places yes. where it was least protected. Yes. I even thus use the people as families. With their swords, their spears, and their bows. Hallelujah. God wants to use every one of us Hallelujah. with the weapons that we know how to use. You, and Lord. I'm talking spiritual weapons. Yes. I'm talking men and women and children that he want wants to use families. Yes, families. Yes. Families. <laughs> Praise God. Verse 14. I looked them over. And I rose up and said to the nobles and officials and the other people, Do not be afraid of the enemy. Don't be afraid of yeah, the enemy. Many times have we heard that. Earnestly remember the Lord and imprint him on your minds. Hallelujah. That's why we've got to tune out everything else but Jesus. Amen. We've got to keep him imprinted on our hearts. We have to remember what he has done in the past, Hallelujah. what he has done recently, how yes. God has met us, yes. how God has moved in our midst. Yes. Imprint him on your minds, great and terrible, and take from him courage to fight. Hallelujah. Courage to fight for your brethren, your sons, your daughters, your wives, Hallelujah. and your homes. Brothers Glory and sisters, God. I want to tell you what. We are at a place, and I'm not finished with this yet, but i got to go. We are. God is wanting us to realize we're fighting for generations right wow. now. Wow. If Jesus tarries, you and I, we are fighting for our heritage. Hallelujah. We are fighting for generations. Generations that are born and generations that are yet to be born. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me tonight? Yes, yes. And when our enemies heard that their plot was known to us and that God had frustrated their purpose, we all returned to the wall, everyone to his work. Amen. God's telling us, 
You got to get in the fight. Amen. You got to fight the good fight of faith. Amen. You got to stand in the gap, not only for yourself, Amen. but for your brethren, your sons, your daughters, your families, yes. your wives, your husband. Yes. We have to stand in the gap yes. for each other. Yes. I can tell you what, my wife and I daily, we are standing in the gap yes. fighting for you. We are standing, believing God to accomplish everything Hallelujah. He wants to do in and through your lives. Amen. Give me a moment and I'll get through these last scriptures. Preach it. And from that time forth, half of my servants worked at the task, and the other half held their spears, their shields, their bows, and coats of mail, and the leaders stood behind all the house of Judah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're talking the lion of the tribe Hallelujah. of Judah. We are standing with the house of Judah. Amen. You and I are of the household of Judah. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise <Lord>. God. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Those who built the wall and those who bore burdens loaded themselves so that everyone worked with one hand and held a weapon mm -hmm. with yes. the other hand. Yes. We have got to do what God calls us to do. Let me tell you, I've said it for years. Those places that we call jobs yes. are ministry fields. Yes. And we do yes. the ministry. We share the love of Jesus. Yes. We let his light shine before men that it glorifies God the Father. But in the other hand, we hold our swords and our spears. Amen. And we build and build the wall. Rebuild the wall. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And every builder had his sword girded and his side and so worked and he was sounded the trumpet was at my side Hallelujah. and I said to the nobles and officials at the rest of the people the work is great and scattered and we are separated on the wall one from another in whatever place you hear the sound of the trumpet rally to us there our God will fight for us. Glory, yes, yes. We may be fighting the battle. We may be getting in the spirit, standing in the gap, lifting up our hands, yes. crying out for yes. people. Don't know what we're praying for. Yes. I can tell you, we've been praying for people that we do know what we're praying for, yes. but then we've been fighting for people that we didn't know what we're praying for. Yes. And God's telling us that if we'll get in the battle, that the Lord will fight for us. Amen. The battle belongs, belongs to, the, to Lord. the Lord. Yes, yes. I encourage you in that. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. There may Praise be someone God. out there tonight. Yes. There may be someone that will be watching this video in the coming week or weeks. Yes. And you may be saying, Pastor, I don't know this relationship mm -hmm. with Jesus Christ. He's the Son of God. He came to this world. He died for me. He died for you. He took my sins, your sins, our iniquity, yes. the punishment that I deserved. Yes. He took it. But he's taken your punishment too. Punishment. Amen. And he died on the cross for you and me. Yes. And he was buried in a tomb and on the third day he rose from the dead. And the scripture says that if we'll confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, yes. and we'll believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we will be born again. Yes. You may be out there tonight, and you may say, Pastor, I've known the Lord, yeah. but I've gotten off the path. I want to tell you, he loves you. Yes. And he's saying, son, daughter, it's time to come on back home. Amen. How much better is it at Father's house than yes. where you're at right now? Yes. So we're going to pray. Yes. And if that's you, we want you to pray with us. Yes. That beating in your heart, that that's, that's the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit drawing you. And Amen. He's drawing you to Himself. Amen. So right now we're going to pray. Yes. Father. Father. 
We come before you. We come before you. And I thank you. And I thank you. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You are the lamb. You are the lamb. You died for my sin. You died for my sin. And I thank you, Jesus. And I thank you, Jesus. That you took my punishment. That you took my punishment. Upon yourself. Upon yourself. You gave your life. You gave your life. You were buried in a tomb. You were buried in a tomb. And on the third day, you rose from the dead. And on the third day, you rose from the dead. So Jesus. So Jesus. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive me. And from this day forward. From this day forward. I choose. I choose. That I will live for you. I will live for you. My life is yours. My life is yours. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 For the ones that this is your first time to ever pray that prayer, you have definitely made the best decision you will ever make in your entire yes. life. Yes, amen. For those of you that are coming home, the Lord Jesus welcomes you home. We welcome you. We are yes, so we happy and just rejoice that you've asked the Lord into your heart and ask you amen. to reach out. Contact us here at Celebration. Please let us know. If you don't have a Bible, we would love to send a Bible to you yes. if we could. That would be something we'd be privileged to do. Also, we would love for you to get involved in our discipleship class that Amen. Christina and Larry Foy offer. It's also right there on our Facebook page. Yes. And just invite you, if you've got children, get them involved in our children's ministry. There are videos for your little children to watch. Mm -hmm. There are videos if you've got youth in your family. We That's have right. a youth night that goes on. We have videos going out all week, all yes, we week, you you should just tune in to all of them. You yes. will be so blessed and ministered to. We have a beautiful family at Celebration. Yes, we and do. Celebration, I, I just, as my husband was just sharing right then, I feel stirred again to speak this. When I was studying this afternoon, the Lord imp just impressed on me something and I don't I don't want it to come across in a prideful way that's not the way the way I'm speaking it over celebration that's right. but he said that celebration is ahead of the curve as far as knowing mm -hmm. what a building as far as bricks and uh, four walls around you yes. mean that we're ahead of the curve he's prepared us for some years now to recognize that that is not the literal thing that keeps us together. That's right. Listen to it by the Spirit. Because first of all, we got to be assured and know that we are a church family whether there are walls around us, as right now, there's, we're not all getting to meet together. We're right here meeting together. And he wants that to take a deep root and be established real firm. He's given us several occasions through the 21 years now to make that clear. That a building is not what defines celebration. One day, I believe celebration is going to have one of the most fabulous buildings there's yes. ever been. But that that's not where our hope is. That's right. That we know the calling to which he has called us to. Mm. Can I hear an amen? Come on, amen. There's somebody that's out there, right. you know who I'm talking to, and you feel this word. And it's for you that you just say, I'm going to be firmed up yes. in what Pastor was preaching tonight. <clears throat> I'm going to be that wall, that like you were saying, no. we are being built up. And yes. the work that God is doing while we're not getting to meet in four walls again, we, of course, eventually, we will get to meet in four yes, walls we will. again. That's not what I'm saying. I'm referring to that work you were talking about. The work that he's doing in all of us right now, that he's been doing for many years yes. now, but it's going to be that when we do come back together, yes, that work he's completing in us, yes. that good work he's doing in all of our lives, it's going to be for his glory That's and right. for his honor. Amen. And when we do get together, well, I guess I do expect, it's hard to even say what it's going to be. <laughs> I don't even want to label what it's going to be because Glorious. the Lord, there you go, <laughs> the Lord is going to release and do what he's promised this church body. That's right. Celebration Family yes. Worship Center for years and, and years, years and years. years. 
He says, you think I've forgotten about you? You're wrong. No, he hadn't forgotten. You're wrong. <laughs> I oh. remembered you. He hears the cries of your heart. Intercessors. Yes. He's heard your prayers yes. going up for years and years when yes. you think he hasn't heard. Oh, yes, he's heard. Every Come tear on. that you've shed, he has bottled up. Yes. And believe you me, there's a day of reckoning. Yes. There's a day that we will see so much of what he has in yes. store for us come to play, come out, come in a clear focus. Amen. But glory to God. Yes, and the Lord says also, you may see, you may feel like even at your job. Yeah. Because I want to tell you what, at your job, you're working in places that Jesus is wanting to move. Amen. I, he's going to move in those Revival's jobs. Revival's starting in y'all. It's going to start. You're yes. taking it. You're taking, You're taking it, into, it your jobs. into your job. They're blessed that you work there. You're going to lay hands on the sick They're blessed and they're going to recover. Because you work there. Yes, you're going to start moving the Holy Spirit Hallelujah. right in these places. But there have been those you have said, your words have literally said this, Lord, it is though I stand alone. Mm. And God says, you do not no, you stand do alone. Not. This is what Nehemiah was speaking of. You are surrounded. Hallelujah. You have been doing what God has given you to do. Hallelujah. And God says you've been faithful in the little things. Yes. Now watch, there are greater Promotion. things Hallelujah. getting ready to happen. And yes. you give the glory and honor to Almighty God as these Hallelujah. things take place. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, honey. Hallelujah. We just had to share. We, uh, I know we've probably gone over the time a little because now we will be praying over the time and offering, offerings, yes. but this time belongs to the Lord, and we have just said, right. Father, we're your vessels, yes. and I did, I felt that stirring it while, was you, a good were, word while you were preaching there, and it, he, he just reminded me, and uh, so we're just going to be led by his spirit, and that was for somebody tonight, it, it was, was. For, it really, it was for the whole church, everybody, it's for the whole because church, because there have been times all of us, yes, all of us have felt like we've been alone. What my wife was sharing, God, God's had His hand on you guys. Yes, oh, He has had His hand yes. on you. Yes, and He's been moving in your hearts yes. and your lives yes. over this period of years. Yes, and God is, He says, but now the thing that I have ordained, yes. is coming to pass. Yes. It's Hallelujah. To We're believing with you now for 30, 60, and 100 fold. fold yes. You've been turn, uh, sending in tithes and offerings, yes. and the Lord has seen your faithfulness yes, even in has. your giving. Yes. And He is the one that brings that increase. That's right. Amen. Don't ask us how He does it except to except refer to this word. To the word. We've watched the Lord as we've given, we've watched the Lord bring in blessings, yes. and that's that's. That's up to him how he does it. And he is doing it for you. But yes. we're praying tonight. The enemy's rebuked. He is. he is rebuked. In the name of Jesus. As you're given, that's his promise. That's right. He that's rebukes promise. the devourer away that's from right. you. Amen. And we just pray increase in your life financially Father, and in every yes. way. Right now, we come before you. Thank, Thank you, Lord Father. Jesus. You're the Savior of the world. Yes. How much more those of us who believe. Hallelujah. You've made us, once again, yes. children of the living God. Hallelujah. We thank you that gathered around your throne are men and women from every nation, tongue, every tribe, and nation. kindred. And they're your inheritance as well, Lord. Hallelujah. But you've made us joint heirs with you yes. in your inheritance. Hallelujah. And Lord, if that's what heaven looks and sounds like, Yes. Lord Jesus, we declare celebration yes. looks and sounds more yes. and more like heaven. Hallelujah. So Lord, continue to bring the nations Thank you, to Celebration Family from, yes, Worship from Center. The north, the south, bring them from the east, north, south, the east, and the west. Hallelujah. The four corners of the earth, the winds must give up the yes. loss. Yes. We thank you, Lord. It's time for a great outpouring of the Holy Ghost. Soul, soul. We call souls to the kingdom. But we thank you for the former and the latter rain uh, in the yeah, same yeah, the season. So, Lord Jesus, Hallelujah. we pray for those in authority over us. Yes. We pray for President Trump, yes. Vice President Pence, yes. all those in the Congress, the Cabinet, all the Supreme Court. Gone. 
all of those in state authorities, Again, governor, governor Cooper, Cooper, all the other governors. Father, we pray for all wisdom. them in local authorities. Hallelujah. Them and their, their households, households. Yes, be God. saved. Hallelujah. May they be baptized in the Holy, in the Holy Ghost, Ghost and fire. Yes. We pray the word of God be a lamp unto their feet. And and a light unto their path. Yes. May we walk a highway of holiness. May we not only hear the word, but act upon it. Yes. Right now we give. It's given. Good measure. Pressed, pressed down. down shaken shaken together, together. Running over. over. Men and women pour back into our bosom so we can Hallelujah. give again. Yes. We declare souls to the souls, kingdom. Souls. Yokes Hallelujah. be lifted. Amen. Burdens be removed. removed. We thank you. Shackles fall off. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Name of Jesus. Us and our households saved. Yes. Souls. Yes. Souls. Sir, souls you, to Father. your kingdom. Amen. But above all, may we shout the name of Jesus yes. and proclaim your greatness. Yes. And souls, 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 souls to your kingdom. <laughs> in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see souls, souls, souls right there. So I think we're nah, still we're going still on. on. Hallelujah. We're still going to pray our yes. Psalm 91. Glory to God. When you sit enthroned under the shadow of Shaddai, you are hidden in the strength of yes. God most high. He is the hope that holds me and the stronghold to shelter me. The only God for me and my great confidence. Yes. He will rescue you from every hidden trap of the enemy. And he will protect you from false accusation and any deadly curse. His massive arms are wrapped around yes. you, protecting you. You can run under his covering and majesty of his faithfulness. The arms of his faithfulness are a yes, shield, Jesus. keeping you from harm. You will never worry about an attack of demonic forces at night, nor have to fear a spirit of darkness coming against you. Don't fear a thing. I don't know how many That's times right. we're going to hear don't that. Don't fear a thing. It's the word of the Lord. Whether by night or day, demonic danger will not trouble you, nor will the powers of evil be launched against you. Mm. Even in a time of disaster, when thousands and thousands are being killed, you will remain unscathed and unharmed. You will be a spectator. Yes. as the wicked perish in judgment for they will be paid back for what they have done. Yes. When we live our lives mm -hmm. within the shadow of God most yes. high, our secret hiding place, we will always be shielded from Ooh, harm. Hallelujah. How then could evil prevail against us or disease infect mm -hmm. us? God sends angels yes. with special Thank orders you, to Lord. protect you wherever Lord, you go, Lord, defending you from all harm. If you walk into a trap, they'll be there for you right. and keep you That's from stumbling. Right. You'll even walk unharmed among the fiercest powers of darkness, yes. trampling every one of them beneath your feet. Yes. For here is what the Lord has spoken to me because mm. you have delighted in me as my great lover. Yes. I will greatly protect you. I will set you in a high place, mm. safe and secure yes. before my face. I will answer your cry for help every time every you time. pray. And you will find and feel my presence even mm. in your time of pressure and trouble. I will be your glorious hero and give you a yes. feast. You yes. will be satisfied with full life and mm. with all I do for you. For you will enjoy the, the fullness, fullness of my salvation. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We pray the Lord will bless, bless you. you. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will make Hallelujah. his face to shine upon amen. you. Lift up his countenance upon you. Yes. He'll give you peace both now, now and, forever. and forever. You're blessed in the city, blessed in the country. Everything, Everything you put your hands put your to hands is blessed. To. Hallelujah. Your barns are blessed. Your fields are blessed. Your, your needing boards, boards are blessed. blessed. You're blessed when you rise, rise up. up. You're blessed when you lie, lie down. down. You're the head, not the tail. Amen. On top, not, on, not the bottom. on the bottom. You're the redeemed of the Lord. And the redeemed of the, the Lord, Lord said, Amen. Amen. I and love amen. that, Lenny. And that's so cool. <laughs> she did the hand, um, the hand uh, emoji, yeah. emoji. <laughs> and y'all want to start doing that whenever we're That's doing right. the prayer blessing. You can, put up, up in the you can put you can put pr your hand emoji up. How That's right, God. amen. We, we love, love you guys. God bless we you. We will see you Sunday yes. at uh, ten o'clock. 
Bring your communion with you. Yes. Continue inviting your friends. You don't know through that uh, sharing, you will wind up reaching somebody That's that right. you never knew and that will literally get saved by watching the videos that are on that are through celebration. Yes. You are literally having an impact in areas that you don't know. So when you're That's praying, right. when you're praying for the church, pray for his word to reach souls. Yes. There could be those on the other side of the earth that are hearing Amen. what you're sharing when you're sending in your videos. When they're hearing this video and they're getting saved. That's and right. you won't know about it till we all get to glory. Come on. But celebration, you've got a hand in the heart. That's right. God's using your hands. He's using your mouth. He's directing That's our right. steps. Glory to God. We love y'all. We love y'all. God bless you. We, we love, bless you. We we will love see you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Yes. Mm. We have to hug. That's right. <laughs> Oh, love we love each other God till we can you. hug y'all. Amen. We love, love you guys. You. Bye bye.